19. Consider. Your life is made beautiful through all the gifts of the creative creation, through all the things that you desire, through your women and men and children, through all the animals and other creatures, the plants and trees, through the entire appearance nature, and the amassed piles of those uncountable things that bring you joy and pleasure. All of this is supplied for your existence by the creative creation on earth, which is your beautiful homestead in your life. 20. And there can be no better news for you than that you will have a comprehensively good existence if you follow the teaching of the prophets which is the teaching of the laws and recommendations of the primal raising creation, and if you uphold love and peace amongst yourselves, as well as freedom and attunement harmony. 21. For those who fear the non-right and a knowingness, the immeasurable garden of the truth is full of good and nourishing fruits, and the streams which flow through the garden are full of good and healing waters, and you shall live in this garden in pleasure so that you live in love and peace and fulfill freedom and attunement harmony. 22. And see, when you are present in the truth you will forgive the fallible ones and prevent yourselves from doing non-right. 23. And if you are steadfast and truthful and obedient in following the teaching of the prophets, which is the teaching of the laws and recommendations of the primal raising creation, then you will be free in your thoughts and feelings and will lead a praiseworthy life. 24. And know that the laws and recommendations of the primal raising creation establish confirm that there is no primal raising creation except for it. Therefore there are neither gods nor tin gods, nor people of your kind human beings, or liberators angels, and demons who stand above it. And so know that those who possess the true knowledge about the real truth are the keepers of equitableness fairness, whom you shall follow so that you too will be fair and connected to equitableness fairness. 25. Truly, the true teaching of truth, teaching of spirit, Teaching of life is the teaching of the laws and recommendations of the origin creation, as it is explained by the prophets, and only the teaching of truth brings the acquiescence forbearance that the fulfillment of life demands so that life may thrive and not wither. 26. Do not allow yourselves to become at odds in the teaching of truth, and do not allow envy to come over you for its sake, because the teaching is indubitable. Therefore it cannot be misconstrued and correctly explained, because it is given in clarity and cannot be twisted falsified, and whoever denies or twists falsifies. The teaching of truth and its true explanation of the teaching is guilty of committing a lie and slander calumny, and truly, whoever is guilty of committing a lie and slander calumny, truly has no loyal friends with who could keep him or her grounded in the face of misery. 27. If those who are traitors or turncoat secessionists, or adversaries to the teaching of truth, the teaching of spirit, the teaching of life dispute with you then do not surrender to them and do not follow them. If, however, you surrender to the traitors or turncoat secessionists, or the adversaries to the teaching of truth, then you will be badly led and brought on to the path of confusion so that you do not find the path of truth and do not fulfill your duty to the existence because you are following false messages and are also yourselves spreading disseminating false messages. 28. Truly, the unfair ones, irresponsible ones, and traitors, the turncoat secessionists, and the adversaries who deny their signs evidence, of the truth and with a false stung insult, twist it to their advantage. They are the ones who are falsifying all signs marvels, and the truth of the teaching of the prophets and the laws and recommendations of the primal raising creation, and they are liars, as are also the scandal mongers and priests who call on their god or tin gods and raise themselves to the status of their representative substitutes, and who commit bloody deeds murder in their name and kill and pillage in other respects, just as they also defile women and children or have such misdeeds conducted by their henchmen, and these unfair ones irresponsible ones, are the ones who talk about the gods and tin gods that they have thought up and vented, in their greed for might and their avarice and who preach love and equitableness fairness, 
in their name whilst on the contrary demanding hatred and revenge and retribution for everything if you oppose the fabulated invented volition of the gods and tin gods although in truth this is an opposition against the bondage of the priests and therefore against the servants of gods and servants of tin gods because gods and tin gods are not real but are mere fabulations inventions by those who obtain worldly gain from these lies 29 all the deeds of the unfair ones irresponsible ones who set themselves over you as servants of gods and servants of tin gods are not and you shall neither be a believer nor a helper of them because if you are then like them you will be far from the truth and far from the laws and recommendations of the primal raising creation and therefore also servants of gods or servants of tin gods however if you are believers in gods or tin gods and in servants of gods or servants of tin gods, then you are acting in the non right like them and against the truth and the laws and recommendations of the primal raising creation, which are given in the regulation that you shall be yourselves and therefore that no might shall stand over you which you are obliged to follow, except for yourselves and your own responsibility for all things which concern you and which you perform. 30. And if you have cognizance of the teaching of truth of the prophets, and if you follow the teaching of the laws and recommendations of the primal raising creation, then you shall be called upon to lead your life in accordance with the guideline law and recommendation slash signposting slash leading thought, and therefore in cognizance of the teaching of truth, you shall call on yourselves to judge to decree, rightfully between good and evil and between right and non-right, because you yourselves shall be truth and not turn away from it in unwillingness. 31. The fire of untruthfulness shall not touch you, not even for a limited number of days. Do not be accustomed to falsifying the truth yourselves, so that you may not be deceived in your knowledge about the truth. 32. If you gather on a day and in a place in order to listen to the teaching of truth, the teaching of spirit, the teaching of life, then make sure that there is no doubt in you, so that you merit in honorableness the knowledge and wisdom and equitableness fairness, which is given to you so that you do not suffer any non-right in your knowledge about the truth. 33. Pass on your knowledge of the truth of the laws and recommendations of the primal raising creation and the teaching of the prophets, to whom you want, and take the truth and the teaching from any one, from whom you want, but do not set yourselves above others with it so that you do not debase them, take everything that is good and everything that is truthful, then you will have might over all things in you. 34. And do not allow either day or night to pass without you learning and without turning yourselves to the truth of the primal raising creation and its laws and recommendations, because everything living comes forth from the truth of the primal raising creation, and its laws and recommendations, just as from the living the life flows comes, from which, in turn, new life emerges. 35. And pay attention to what and how you pass on the teaching of truth, the teaching of spirit, the teaching of life and truth so that no misunderstanding may arise and no ambiguity come forth, and pass on the teaching of the prophets to whomever you want, and do it without measure but only ever if you are asked to do so, so that you and the teaching may not be unwanted and do not create vexation. 36. Believers in a god or tin gods as well as those who are knowing in the truth and are unfair ones irresponsible ones may be your friends because they are basically people of your kind human being, as you are and you shall respect them as such, but do not copy them in their unknowing, in their inequity and fairness, and in their serving gods and serving tin gods so that you may be free from this and will not enter into any connection with their doings, gird yourselves with caution for the doings of your friends who are unfair ones irresponsible ones, and unknowing ones and believers in gods and tin gods because they are passing by the truth and are thinking of leading you into their delusion if you allow yourselves to be misled by them, therefore be warned and only act rightfully, as you are told recommended, by the real truth of the teaching of truth, the teaching of spirit, the teaching of life.